Hello, my name's Bryony and I'm training to become a teacher of drama and dance and this is my reflective journal. I will take you through my experience of the first year of the PGCE programme at UCLan, reflecting on my journey so far. Meeting everyone at uni was so exciting. Hearing everyone's experiences and different subject areas meant we certainly had a lot to talk about. The most important person we all met, of course, was the tutor, who would lead us on the road to teaching success. We were all given a course overview right at the beginning of the course. This enabled us to plan ahead, make sense of the units and assessments, and made sure we were fully prepared for the year ahead. The Macro Teach sessions were a great opportunity for practice and feedback from fellow peers. It was a little daunting at first, but once we realised we were all in the same boat, we all sailed through and came out triumphant. Assignments. Everybody loves assignments! But on a serious note, the assignments were an effective way of gaining a deeper understanding of everything we were learning. Some of the essays were a challenge, but those ones enabled me to brush up on my written skills at the same time. Result! I began my placement at the same time as starting my PGCE programme, which meant I had an awful lot of new faces and names to learn. But getting to know the students I would be teaching was an important part of the process, as well as getting to know my mentors who would be supporting me through my teaching adventure at Kendall College. I spent some time observing my mentor's teaching before I started teaching myself, which was a great way to learn lots of new styles and approaches. Throughout my teaching experience, I have learnt a lot of valuable lessons along the way. The importance of assessment, the value of feedback, and the range of techniques to help me deliver sessions in the most effective way. I have learnt so much from my teaching experience. I wouldn't have the skills I have today without it. Being observed while teaching can be pretty scary at first, let me tell you. Sweaty palms, stuttering words, quaking boots, yep. I had them all for my first observation, but without them we wouldn't know how to improve and progress. I've gained a lot of valuable techniques and approaches from my observation feedback, as well as confirmation that I'm improving all the time, which makes my boots quake a little less. In preparation for an observation, there's just a little bit of paperwork that needs to be done. My paperwork for my first observation was received really well, which really set the benchmark for the rest of the paperwork to come. I've made every effort to complete all my paperwork in as much detail as possible from day one, which has really paid off, as it's really helped me to make sense of all my sessions, as well as providing me with a detailed plan for me to follow. Observing other teachers outside of my subject area enabled me to see a whole different array of teaching styles, approaches and techniques, all of which can be transferred to my own approach. I openly admit that I'm stealing other people's ideas, but I've been rest assured that everyone else does it too. Classroom management has been one of my weaknesses. I think I'm just too nice, which doesn't always work in my favour. Sessions at uni that focused on techniques that can be used to tackle behavioural issues and theories behind why this happens have really opened my eyes to a whole array of things that I could try. Things are getting better now, but I've still got a way to go. As part of the portfolio for the year, we had to complete a questionnaire for our learners to fill out. The feedback I received from this has been extremely valuable to me. I've learned so much about how my students view me and my teaching approach. I think I'd quite like to do something like this more often to help me improve all the time.
Thinking back to the very first session I taught, I can see a huge difference to how I teach now. The journey I've taken has introduced me to so many different techniques and ways I can improve as a professional. I've got so much left to learn and I can't wait.